welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla. Fantastic to have you here. We are continuing the tour. I'm going to head back to the Nether Hub and we'll get this thing started. Right, so the points north that we are going to be taking a look at, north, south, south, I'll get my direction straight. We're going to go to Scotty Can first, and that is Scotty Garabitis. It's his build, and then we're going to take a look at the Guardian Farm, the Far Lands, and J.B. Warsmith's Jungle Ravine. So uh, I'm not sure how far this is going to take. Now entering the realm of... He did the Dark Lord. Okay. So we've got stylized nether tunnel. Very good. So this is where the build really starts. And based on what I've seen in Scotty's streams, this is going to be very, very well done. He's been putting a lot of effort in. And and yeah, it's going to be fun to take a look, but it, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So... Let's take a little cut. I'll meet you over at Scotty Can. And we have arrived in Scotty Can. Let's take a look here. We've got the portal area. And anything else? Got a little bit of a spruce tree farm over there. Come this way. I see a bit of a Viking ship there in, in the background. And a lighthouse. Well done. And he's got a banner for the area. Okay. Very good. Very good. How about in here? Can we go up to the top? Oh, we've got some granite. Looky there. Of course, granite is perfectly fine like this because nobody can see it, right? That's what some people would say. Yeah, anyway, that's that's really cool. Okay, so a little lighthouse right there, kind of like in Lord of the Rings, the movie, with the... Uh, what are those? The uh, I'm missing the words. The those beacons. That's that's what it is. The fire beacons that uh, that get set to let Rohan know that Gondor needs help. So we've got a Viking row ship here. No Vikings in it, and no oars. And I've fallen off. Let's see if we can get back. Yep, there we go. We'll throw down the sleeping bag and. Make that go away. Run Wild is no longer on the server with me left uh, for the evening. And yeah, I will be hopefully finishing this up here soon. We've got a little storage area. Very good. And then what's this? This is like the longhouse. And we got sheep in there. Okay. Green sheep. Very good. Can we get in there? Make sure we don't let any sheep out. Because that would be bad. I'm going to leave things as we found it, or better. So we'll come back this way. Excellent. So no sheep have escaped in the making of this video. Okay, so this is... Yeah, okay, so two doors. Yeah, no, no problem there. A the little hobbit hole type thing. I guess he can't get away from doing the hobbit hole deal. And this is just the main storage. Ooh, lots of, lots of stuff that he's been digging. Huh. Of course, I come in and take a look at what, it, what everybody's been putting in their storage areas. Up here, furnace, okay, so the blacksmith area, yep, a magma block in there, armor stand, and a bed, very good. And then over here, we get into more residential houses, I guess. Let's take a look at this. No, that's a shop of some form. And then over here to... This side, ah, yes, this is not the front door. Let's come over here. And take a look right here. And then there's something up here. It's like a a, a mine cart with something in it. I don't know what the point. Oh, I know. Okay. So you can throw you can throw coal in that. It is a mine cart furnace. And then when you put coal in it, it looks like smoke is coming out of the chimney here. It's a really cool detail. I don't know. I haven't ever seen this. I haven't seen that detail until I saw Scotty put that in. So 
I don't have any coal with me. Is there any in here? No. No, no, no. No coal. Okay. Well, no no harm, no foul. No, not a problem at all there. And we come over here. We've got another house thing. No, I guess this is... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the... Where the leader sits. Kind of a dinner table area plus a big fire pit right in the center. Not sure. And right here. It's more stylized buildings. Of course, the theme here is Viking Village. Wow, I didn't realize he had done all this. Okay, so he's got more up here. Okay, what's this? Potion brewing? Okay. Okay, very nice. And then over here, we've got the farms. Let's see what else he's got in here. Can we get to there? I don't want to break any of the farmland. Okay, a stable. Okay. Anything else here? A, a dog, another another smeltery type thing there. Oh, I see. There's a pathway. And then we've got, okay, similar. Yeah, so if we take a look at F3, is it going to show us? We've got a slab right there. It's not going to show us what that entity is. No, nothing there. Okay, and let's turn off F3 because... I know that can be distracting. I know I don't particularly care for it when people leave it on. Yeah, so he's really spread out. He's really done a lot of work here that I didn't realize. I've, I've not caught everybody's streams, so sorry for that. It's just life, 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 life. And over here. Hmm. What's this supposed to be? Um, I don't know I I don't know so if you know let me know because I'd like to know but over here that's pretty simple simple to figure out it's a stable area okay and we've got a furnace up here where we can work on the horseshoes forge those up yeah yeah well done okay and we can get our horses out oh and it's a two-way thing nice detail nice detail okay let's come over here i thought i saw a little bit more and we may we're getting to the end of this particular build i think some more houses oh i'm running low on food oh i see we are not getting low on stuff let's get rid of that egg he's got more back here oh my Take a look at this. Scotty, Scotty, you've outdone yourself. Look at this. That's amazing. Just amazing. Okay. And this goes down and around. Oh my. Well done working with the terrain. We've got a little statue there, a Viking statue. What's this? Oh, why Scotin accept? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's a viking inspired statue and we'll go back this way so scody can it's an inspired viking village that scody garbitas has been working on mixer.com slash scody garbitas again links in the subreddit which is linked in the description box below so feel free to check that out another egg okay and we got another chicken sorry scody just the name of the game Come over here, got the snow farm there. Future site of home for Yolstef, the dirt farmer. Okay. Okay, excellent. Over here, I'm not sure what this is. We'll see if there's any signage. No, I got a bed. Maybe this is the last thing he's been working on. Okay. It's a little bit different of a theme than the rest of the Viking village, but... A nice, a nice addition nonetheless. Okay. Anything else to take a look at? I think we've covered it all. So that means we can probably head over to, uh, we're, we're going to go that way some. Which way is that? That is east. Yep. So we'll fly to the east and see if we can find the guardian farm. 
And the Guardian Farm is coming into view. Look at this. Oh my. Jan has been hard at work on this thing. And I think the best way to take a look at this is as if you were coming in from the nether. Although when I usually come over here, I am flying. Let's take a look at our wings. So not too shabby. So you come in and you're surrounded by water all around. She's done a wonderful job. And just to think, I had originally challenged her to build this thing. It's kind of a joke. And she took it on and has done wonderfully with it. So kudos to you, Jan. Just building this thing all around. We've got a Patreon, Patreon monument right there. A couple of... Oh, there's a zombie... Yeah, that's a zombie spawner right there. She's memorialized it. We've got a baby zombie up there. And then we come further down here. We get to the storage area. And we can see the guardians dropping through the lava to their demise below. And it works decently enough. We got plenty of drops. No problem at all. Come down here, and that's not the way you're meant to come through there. She has put a village here, and I see it's spawning golems. I don't know if these are actual spawned or Jan spawned golems, but we've got quite the village down here. She has warned me about this, though, that the village does have problems with zombie sieges, so we'll need to watch out if we let it get to nighttime and... We might have a problem with that, given that we can't really see the sun right now. And let's see, what else has she been doing back here? Okay. Cave spider spawner. Um, dangerous? Much? Okay. Yeah, she found a dual cave spider. Yeah, dual cave spider spawner. And another one over there. I gotcha. Good job on showcasing that particularly frightful setup amazing and you can get string out of there maybe eventually oh we got another oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay that's a nice little challenge right there you can go in there if you want I am not going in there. I do not like cave spiders. I tend to leave them alone, but well done, Jan. I love it. I love it. Very good. Uh, is it nighttime? It's getting close to nighttime. We come over here. Coarse root farm and a tree farm. Well done. Maybe I'll throw, I'll throw this down. And it sounds like a slime farm around here too. Oh, these are just village doors. I gotcha. I don't know where that slime farm is. But my goodness, I did not realize she had put in this much work. Again, you can get a whole lot done streaming. More so than, well, if you stream regularly, that is. And I don't stream much anymore because I found it was cutting into my recording time. I really like recording. I found that out. Over here. Okay, villager breeder. Very nice. And over here, a library of sorts. And what else we got? This is, it seems to be fairly new. I don't remember this when I last came in here or came this way. Got some beacons going. And then, oh, oh, wow. Uh, so uh, Jan had been asking for andesite and a lot of it. And I see why she's been putting it to good use here. And it's for getting out to the rest of the farm area here. She's got some over this way. I think that it looks like a cactus farm. Okay. Good deal. And then over this way. Um, I should, I guess I should be afraid of swimming in water near a guardian farm. Sometimes this thing spawns guardians. Um, not where they're supposed to. But yeah, let's get back over here. And I think, I think we're just about done with the Guardian Farm. 
Oh, we got a little bugger. And let's take care of that. Where did he spawn? That means there is some spawnable area somewhere in here. Huh. Yeah. I will let Jan figure that out. Ah, we got another one. Another zombie right there. Interesting. So they can spawn in here too. Huh. I gotcha. Well, let's not cause too much trouble just in case a creeper or something pops in. We want to stay away from there. Oh, there is a creeper. Fuzzy Boomer, your creeper friend. Indeed. I think I shall stay away from Fuzzy Boomer. What's that? Oh, it's like a mob farm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, I did not realize that was there. That's pretty cool. Way to go, Jan. Making a mob farm as well. And we'll come back in here. And I think it's probably time to take a look over at uh, JB's base. So I'm going to get over to there. It's in the jungle that's off to kind of the northeast. So... Let's head that way. All right, we've got a beacon coming into view back behind there. And what we see right here is a ravine that has been carved out of the jungle here. And this is JB Warsmith's base. He's been working on on stream. Again, link to his channel down in the Hypermind subreddit, which you can find. In a link down below it happens to go through a couple of slime chunks so you got to watch out for those guys and he's been digging out a a hole here i guess okay you gotta be careful because it is a cave area and we never know what might happen it might show up here so yeah, wow. So he's he's dug this thing out. He came upon a ravine and then he dug it out and he has gone through and placed stone to make this look like a natural cliff and done a wonderful job with it. Let's come over here, take care of these guys. And... Okay. And go quiet there while I'm concentrating, but there is a 5x5 five five door, and oh, last time I was over here, he was still digging this out. My, oh my, way to go, JB. Look at this. I did not realize it was going to be a chorus fruit farm. He's done a wonderful job there. And that's a cave spider spawner. I'm not going to get close. No, thank you. It looks like this thing doubles as a slime farm as well. But yeah, let's see. Once you get close enough. Hopefully the spawner is fully deactivated. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to try. He's got another one over here. Yeah, cave spider spawner. Okay, so he found a little cave area here. Excellent. And look at the detail. My goodness. Pistons and oh, just tons of tons of visual interest. I'm enjoying the use of granite as a, an accent block. Well done, JB. Well done. I like it. I like it a lot. And we'll come over here. Let's see what else he's got going on. We saw the other hole he was digging out over this way. Don't know what else. I know there's some stuff up in uh, up here but uh, I'm going to have a time of it trying to get out of yeah there we go so ascend out of the ravine and he's built almost something that looks like a Taj Mahal got gold in it okay so something right in the middle of the pond here and what does that go to 
uh, some sort of a, I don't know, a water drop or something. I don't know. But, but yeah, anyway, so he's done a wonderful job there. So go check him out on his Twitch channel. And, uh, and yeah, next up is the Farlands, another build by Jan that she's been working on kind of in concert with the Guardian Farm. So let's go take a look over there. All right, we are coming into what looks like a build here. I'm not sure how to approach this because um, I've only seen this on the overviewer map. I have not seen any of the streams or anything for this. I don't know if there's a, uh, a nether portal or anything. So kind of coming in here blind, which is cool. That means that you get to experience this for the first time with me. Uh, let's see. How about this way? Okay. Let's try, no, the, the thing that has really intrigued me has been this walkway right here. And it just looks so amazing from the overviewer map. So I think we will experience this together and we'll see what all we can get into. I'll need to make sure, okay, there's the nether portal. Excellent. So you come out from there and go up. Aha. So the reasoning behind this one is that this is a Savannah M biome. I'm not sure if you're familiar with those. Some of you may be, some of you may not. But the Savannah M biome is one of the only, I think it's the only one that generates with something that looks like amplified terrain. And I think that's the neat thing about, I, I like amplified terrain, but I like it just in a little bit here and a little bit there. And the Savannah M biome makes it just a little bit here and a little bit there. So you can come across these massive structures in in your exploration and they they look really cool. They go really tall, kind of kind of epic looking and I I like it. I like it a lot. So and it looks like she is I don't know if she's done. She mentioned that she had been working on it. I don't know if she's done done with it. But but here we go come into here what's this oh another patreon type monument i'm not sure what this one is about if it's patreon or some other form of support recognition but but uh yeah there we go make sure that we're not stepping off onto something we won't regret naked sheep okay and over this way more naked sheep yep because there's no grass around here, so they're not going to regrow. Anything else around here? We've got a village. I don't know if this village was here or if she built it. Let's take a look. We should be able to figure out from that. And I don't think, I don't think it was originally here. I think she built it. Otherwise, there would be cobblestone all the way to the ground on some of these. Yeah. Okay, and let's take a look in here. Of course, you always come check that. Hmm. You know what? I think, I think maybe we should leave something, right? We, we leave it as we found it or better. How about a little something, something, and we'll see if she comes along and picks that up. Of course, she's going to see the video, but I don't know when this video is going to, to come out, but hey, these these uh, blacksmiths are always they've always got something good in those chests, so why not leave something good? Okay, and we've got a little village here. Let's take a little fly around and see if oh she's she's made it safe fish I guess, and then this way. Okay, then I can jump off like that. Okay, and that, that gives you a good idea of kind of the scale of the Savannah M. I really like it. And, uh, and yeah, there we go. So let's see if we can get a top view. This is as close to an overviewer shot that you're going to get. And I may take a sneaky screenshot while we're at it. This is called the Farlands. And yeah. Okay. Well, way to go, Jan. I really like that kudos on this build yeah there we go okay 
well i i think that's gonna be it I, let me uh let me just uh make sure and you know maybe we'll go back up to the top here and end our our time up here if it is indeed the end so let me go check make sure i've gotten all the major places and if i've missed something you guys can yell at me in the comment section down below but i'll be right back well ladies and gentlemen there is one more build that i know of and that is doll dantil the problem is i can't find it on the overview map and so if i am able to eventually find it we'll take you there in the standard episode but for now i think we're going to call it quits my voice is about to give out i've been talking almost non-stop for this entire recording session yes i'm recording three episodes all at once but that's this tour we got a lot of builds hopefully you can see that um, there's a lot of activity still going on on the hypermind service just not coming on youtube videos so feel free to go check out all the twitch streams and and mixer streams down in the hypermind subreddit follow them you can see everything that's going on um, but uh, anyway i had a lot of fun touring all these builds hopefully you enjoyed as well if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel that's going to be it for now thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye bye